too. Even when I was in the national team, he was hard to get to share personal stuff also. I think he saw Warcraft 3 as a job only. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see why some people would have that attitude, but it worked for him. But it doesn't work for other people. Yeah, for sure. You know, people always remember who Mad Frog is, but, you know, people will definitely always remember who you are because you were more of a person than people. And you get out there and answer questions. I mean, look what you're doing now. I mean, who the hell takes time to sit down and share information that they've gathered over years with other people? So that's pretty cool, man. It's pretty nice of you to do that. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy it a lot myself. I mean, I can take some flames, but then I, then someone really appreciates what I do, and then it's worth it for me. If I, if 30% appreciate what I do, then it's so much worth it. Worth it. Yeah, that actually I can relate to. It almost seems like no, no matter how good of a job you do at something, there is always somebody out there who has to flame. It's just so disappointing, but it means almost it means absolutely nothing when you get people who appreciate it. Yep, exactly, exactly. And that's why I say, fuck them assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, language, but, you know, whatever. Um, would you say, I got a really good question for you. Would you say being physically fit helps you play games better? I mean, does it help you with your mental agility? Yeah, for sure. Um, I didn't stay so fit uh, physically when I played Worker 3, but I often regretted it because... I feel that after you worked out, like, I did a lot of martial arts before, and after each training I would feel so much more calm. Even when I played, I had so much more focus because of the training. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to go right there. Martial arts and uh, finding something to supplement, you know, all the hours you do playing and watching. You know, sometimes it's almost a relief, I'm sure, to give your mind a break. Yeah, even if you're just out walking for 30 minutes, it just helps you a lot to clear your head and get some fresh air. Then you will be more calm. Yeah, you hear that, people? So that's something I would recommend to everyone that's trying to get really good at the game. That you should take breaks and clear your head. Do some physical ex exercise. Yeah, like get off your fat ass and go outside. That's a good idea. <laughs> I used to actually get some of my best workouts after I'd play a few games of Warcraft 3, and then maybe I'd lose three in a row. I'd go to the gym, and I would just beat the shit out of the bag, and I, I felt so good after that. Well, man, I, I've been waiting so long to get a place where I could hand, hang up a punching bag. It would be so cool to lose a game and then just... Put your gloves on or off, I don't care, just beat the shit out of the bag. That's a good idea. That would mean so much to me. But I I haven't had uh, opportunity to do that yet in the places I've lived at. So if you had a punching bag, whose face would you stick on it? Wow. That's a very good question. Hmm, probably Sasa's face. Oh, that's a good one. I never really liked him. Well, I got, he never really liked me, so... Well, I got a better question. If you had a blow-up sex doll, whose face would you put on that? Hey, man. <laughs> My girlfriend is gonna listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have said I put her face on there when she's not home. Ah, that's what I said. That's right. You just didn't listen good enough. That's right. You did say that. Yeah, I heard you say it. Good answer. I'd put Freak's face. Yeah. Nah, but all jokes aside, I don't really hold any grudges against any player in Warcraft 3. I do. Just for making fun, mostly. <laughs> you do? True. Who? Nobody, dude. Well, actually, I got one person. <laughs> Angry Korea man. I used to beat his ass every single day on ladder. Every, all the time. I beat him 12 games, and he'd beat me one game, and he'd post it on every website there was. And then talk shit. <laughs> I, think, I think that's pretty annoying. Like, if you play versus a guy a lot, and then he beats you one game, and then he uploads that replay instead of the 8-1 Eight replays where you beat him. I always thought that was funny. And that's why I went to his house. Talk about misconception. Exactly. That's why I got to his mom. That's what he gets. <laughs> but then again, I did upload the replay against Grubby where I beat him with uh, my tower rush. Oh, hell yeah. And not the 500 games that he beat me. So sorry for that. Yeah, that's all right. But no, I'm not really sorry. Hey, you gotta, you gotta be happy when you invent a legendary strategy. You know? I wouldn't call it legendary, but it was good for uh, a month or two. 
Yeah, why not? That's a good. That's a good thing. If I beat him, I'd upload that shit too. Yeah. So here's a good question. This one's from Alex. It says, "How do you prepare for a league match? Like, um, what do you usually do? Do you have a routine? Like, do you eat certain types of foods or, or wake up early or anything like that?" Uh, it would also it's depend if I know who my opponent is or not. Because if I know who my opponent is, I would study replays. I would have my team members mimic his style and play against me. Uh, if I don't know who it is, I would just do some general practice. Like, often you know, hey, you're playing Turtle Rock and it's a pretty big chance you'll be playing Undead. But not more than that. And then you could practice games against uh, general Undead strategies. But it of often helps a lot if you know exactly who you're playing. Yeah, most definitely. So, no, not really a routine. I would just start practicing like one or two hours in forehand. Yeah, that's that's a good idea there. I mean, sometimes it's just based to, uh, best to prepare what you're going to face. Um, another good question. This one's from Fen uh, Friendly Fair. He says, um, what speed do you keep your mouse on in Warcraft 3 and on the desktop? Fast or slow or anything in between? Wow, how do you define fast or slow? What's fast for me is slow for some. Well, I use the Razer mouse and... Oh, me too. Let me see here. I'll have 6 in sensitivity, and then I would have the Windows mouse speed set in exactly in the middle. So I guess that's semi-fast. I know Grubby has a really high sensitivity, or used to have at least. I don't know about the other members ex-members of 4K. Yeah, I remember talking to him, and he said something like, um, I was using Windows XP at the time, and uh, I forget which mouse I was using, but, you know, they used to have an option for enhanced speed, and he said, always stick the mouse motion on the fastest setting, but don't stick it on enhanced speed, just because then the, uh, the mouse will jump too much, and, like, for example, when you run the mouse across the sc screen at one speed, and then you run it across the screen at a faster speed, it actually creates a bigger gap in between, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think to think about this, the higher mouse speed you can handle, the better. But if you have a uh, mouse speed that's too high and you miss clicks, then it's not worth it anymore. But I would say the higher mouse speed you can handle is better. Same with APM, really. If you have... 500 APM and all of those decisions and clicks are good decisions and clicks then it's better than 300 good decisions right yeah absolutely but if it's just 500 rubbish moves it doesn't mean 